so that was all the start of Visual Wood, was it? <laughs> no, 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 it was not. <laughs> no, it was not. <laughs> oh, what is up, guys, and welcome guy. to the Visual Wood Podcast, <laughs> episode number 73. I'm pretty sure that's on someone's jersey somewhere. How are you doing? Winnie Very Patel. well. This is a special episode, is it not, Matt? It is. Uh, YOLO, right? It's the YOLO? This is the YOLO episode. We spent been... four yeah. hours watching the stream. <laughs> and we have Actually, no preparation. Yeah. yeah, we have no preparation. This evening's literally been us watching the, the, the four, four hours. Neither of us. I, I suppose we should feel bad that we didn't know it was going to be. <laughs> I just kept watching it. I was like, oh, yeah, okay, all right. And I didn't even consider that, like, an hour in. A, it was already really long. And B, they'd only finished, like, Eddie or whatever at that point. And I was yeah. like, I, I, I don't know. I was just taking it. What? And then, like, about, like, an hour and a half in, I was like, oh, my God. Wait, what? Are they doing all the classes? By about two hours, I was like, oh, God, yeah, we've got a problem. <laughs> so we started talking about it. So bad, dude. So bad. Why oh. does the doc say vegan? Well, um, okay. Whoa, you've gone vegan. So I'm trying it out. So, all right. Whoa. All really? right, all right, all right. So I'll be quick. I'll be quick. Why so no, 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 no. Been... Give me all the juicy deets. Tell me why. All right. So, uh, you know, I've been trying to figure out something that I can do to help um, my disease. You know, my problem okay. with mm-hmm. uh, with getting numb and the periodic paralysis. I have hyper PP uh, for mm-hmm. people who don't know. I, many of you guys already know. Um, do you want to explain for those that don't? Like the main uh, okay. thing that happens to you? Basically, if um, it's cold, if I exercise hardcore... Uh, if I uh, don't eat, if I sleep too long, if I sit down too long, my body will get numb. Sometimes mm-hmm. I'll have severe attacks to the point that I cannot move anything else other than my neck. Like Sometimes, guys, move. I'll call Matt and he'll be like, hey, man, how's it going? And I'll be <laughs> like, whoa, did you have an attack? And he'll be like, yeah, I'm not feeling too good today. How's it going? I'll be like, damn. And then we record like, the podcast. I'm like, what is up, guys? And welcome <laughs> to the Visual Wood Podcast. Yeah, this is this is all uh, this is all smoke and mirrors. Matt actually had an attack today. Uh, <laughs> no. During the- <laughs> no, no. It's I'm, amazing, I'm, though. There's like a huge difference in him after it's happened. Huge difference. Go on. Well, at, at least at least from, um, you know, with... People don't know the people. The know doctors me don't happy. know. <laughs> <laughs> I am happy. Um, so I I've tried a lot of things, okay? And of course mm-hmm. this resulted in me losing weight. I figured out a way to lose weight without exercising too much and stuff like that. Because you, you talked before as well about when you were when you were more overweight, you like, like, I was over of... like three hundred something, yeah. People used to like you were kind of thought that losing weight might be able to help it, but people also used to say like it was the other way around, right? Like you had no energy because right. you were overweight, and that was always I, like really yeah. annoying. Yeah, so I would walk up the stairs slow because I would be weak uh, because of hyper PP from but, this specifically. Yeah, yeah. and um, and because uh, the reason you know how I would know it, it wasn't because I was overweight is because some days I am not so weak. You know, I have different yeah. levels of weak, and when I'm strong, nothing matters. I am like hyperactive when I'm strong oh because my I can God. do. Whatever I want, you know, something I could never do every day. So I'm usually like just like, car. you know, out all the whole time. But yeah. yeah, like I would walk up the stairs slow, you know, at school or whatever. Um, and people would think it's because I was fat, you know. Did we just must have sucked so bad, dude. It, it did, it did. But you know, I didn't let I didn't let people like that bother me. You know, I, I know okay. a lot of people like, oh, I didn't let that. Bother. I mean, it bothered me, of course, but. I what I did is what I used to not walk around people too much, right? Right. And I would wait. I would never be an inconvenience to anyone. I never liked that. Um and um I just I I don't know, I just joked around a lot and people didn't mind that be, I wasn't one of those those big people who are like always sweating and blah blah blah. Like I knew how to be a big guy, you know? Without mm-hmm. affecting other people and affecting the way people thought of me. Other than, you know, I was breathing hard and falling asleep. I couldn't <laughs> help that. I, I couldn't help that. <laughs> when you lose weight, like, it's such a drastic difference. I used to sleep a lot. Like, I would fall asleep on the job because I was so tired. Of like, Wow, really? Yeah. Yeah, it, yeah. it's one of those things. That, I mean, it's different with me because I get tired very quickly um, with hyper PP. So, you know, it's whatever. It might be different okay. for everybody else. 
But yeah. Um, so I wanted to try vegan out. Uh, so I... what is this more motivated because of hyper PP or because let's be honest, I like to be veganism is kind of awesome. Like I have so much respect for people who choose to be vegan. It's like, damn, you know, you're, you're a pretty cool person. You're pretty attentive to the world around you kind of thing, you know? Right. And uh, the people, um, people who I've, I've watched, I've researched a lot before I started, uh, just to make sure I get all the facts straight and everything like that. And people, people are going to have some misconceptions about what vegan is. Um, cause it's vegans and there's vegetarians. The, the the difference between vegans and vegetarians is one uh, the vegans don't eat any type of dairy or anything yeah, it's from any kind of animal. Way low, yeah, yeah, At all animal product, right? Like that's yeah. the thing. Eggs Everything. as well. Eggs. So yeah, eggs and and dairy products. Vegetarians tend to eat, but some vegetarians, you know, tend to to eat. You know, um, I know vegetarians, either. dude, who eat fish and chicken and talk. All- Flexitarians. Flexitarians. They like to, you know, flex out their <laughs> diet there. Um, so um, but uh, for me, I it's not about the animals. For me, I don't, I don't really care about that. I, I wow. do look at a lot of, I, I know a lot of vegans, and like a lot of vegans. So um, I'm gonna be asking, especially one one woman in partic- particular, about um, being vegan and everything like that. And they're always. They, they always are they're so energetic they have mm-hmm. energy and the re they feel like that so much that it actually gets them to that's why they get so like uh i don't know you know what, what do you call it like very like oh you got to be vegan you got to be vegan you got to be vegan because, oh pushy about veganism yeah because and, and veganism goes a step further where people like say like oh you know you can't treat the animals this way blah 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 blah. you should you shouldn't be murderers and stuff like that i'm not like that are you telling me you're you're joining peter no no really really i don't i don't i really don't care (laughs) i'm doing this because they they seem so they're they're healthy compared to you know i've seen a lot of people shake off the you know illnesses because they went vegan because they removed meat and you know you could say all you have to do is get organic meat instead of getting the ones, you know, from the regular store or whatever that has all the hormones and stuff. You get organic meat. And here in Georgia, we, we have our own farms here. So, you know, you could go to the farmer's market and get your organic meat, but it's very expensive. And mm-hmm. I just want to try to just try something different. And Dude, I, that's th- crazy. Yeah, yeah I, I I don't – see, the thing is I am like a light switch. And my that, that's what that's what my – um. My wife, uh, that's her example of me because it's very right, easy for me to be on like I guess you can say diet, but for me it's been a lifestyle for the past year, five years now. Yeah. Um, you know, it's very easy for me to cut out something, and I I Do really you- don't I could care less if I cut out meat as long as it makes me feel better. Now that's if it makes me feel better. Do you consider this then? To be because you're kind of in a trial of it, you don't know how you're going to react to it or how you're going to like it. Do you consider yourself to be on a vegan diet for now, or are you just kind of saying, "No, this is my life now already"? Are you already at that stage? How do you um, mentally no. go into that? I, I, um, for me, like I said, I just I want to go into it and try it to see if it would help me. Now, if I have a major attack and it's a lot it's a lot worse than what i was doing before then or or it's maybe it's a little bit better you know and i i don't get like major attacks anymore and stuff like that i don't i don't know but apparently i'm Man. supposed to be eating uh a high carbohydrate diet uh you know like lots of rice and stuff like that so i would i would pizza, i'm doing maybe? like huh yeah. what you said <laughs> hamster <laughs> I said pizza. <laughs> Vegan pizza. There's lots uh, of carbohydrates. Yeah, yeah, I've yeah. been trying. I've been doing a little bit of raw too. So I, I, am doing it properly, guys. For for all the vegans out there, I'm doing it properly. I'm not. Wait, what's the, what's the vegan cheese? What what is that? There is one, isn't it? Mm, there might be vegetarian cheese. I don't know. Like usually, kind of when you go vegan, you don't really do substitute too much because I. Well, well, I guess there is vegan cheese, but what tends to happen is when people who haven't been doing it for a while they tend to just do all this processed stuff to replace stuff that they already had like they're not you're you're supposed to cut out meat you're not supposed to be like oh i'm gonna replace it with this you know Mm. i'm gonna replace it with tofu and not not tofu like soy soy processed products and stuff like that that replaces meat 
you know, when you could just eat, you could get your protein from somewhere else. Mm-hmm. And the whole point is that you're staying away from processed food and you're allowing your body to, you know, regulate and detox from from meat and all that processed stuff that you've been eating for, you know, all your life and stuff. Yeah. You know? OK. And, you know, it, it's. I'm trying it out. It's this is my third day. I f- oh, I f- you just answered, yeah. Yes. I was gonna ask you how long you've been doing yeah, it for. It's my third day, so I've been feeling good and it feels good. It, what I would have would be because I know people are gonna ask like, "What did you eat in a day?" Well, yeah, 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 yeah. I was gonna say, give me a food log of the three days since you have been a vegan. Well, okay. Vegan. Well, so when I wake up in the morning, um, one time I had, uh, I would drink a lot of water in the morning. Did you have a good buy meal to meet, by the way? Um, Were you like, all right, Thursday, I'm going to be vegan tomorrow. Get me some sausage no. or something. No, nope, I just started. <laughs> I okay. d- like when I make a decision, I don't. I make a decision <laughs> and I'm ready to go. Like, okay. it's <clears throat> my wife hates that. <laughs> my wife hates it because she's not like that. It's like, why are you so like per- perfect and just doing stuff? Like, 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 yeah, because so she sweet. feels bad because I, I can just. I could just like no, I, I'm not gonna eat you. I'm not gonna eat meat. I'm just not gonna eat meat. Yeah. And it, okay. Yeah. All right, so, all right. So, so you woke up on that morning. What did you have? Let's just this. All right. So, then. um, one time I had oatmeal, right? Okay. Where I took just fresh oats. I went to the farmers market. It's cheap at farmers market. Like you get stuff for cheap. Um, got some oats. Uh, got some almond milk. Got um some blueberries. And some, um, a little bit of dates to sweeten it up a little bit. And Damn, that sounds good, dude. It's it's good. I mean, it's it's pretty much it's easy. Like it takes like a couple minutes too. It's like you just throw that stuff together. Yeah, like the the difference is like what, like six minutes compared to just like instant oatmeal. Mm-hmm. You know, you just it's in your fridge, it's in your cupboard, boom, 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 and you're done. Um, right now I just made like this. You when I said I was making cake. I was wondering why you didn't ask me. Like, <laughs> like what do you I mean you're making cake? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what really you question me. me. I, you know, I put like oats and dates and um, cashews, ground it up to make like a crust, and then yeah. I um, blended up some bananas and um, some. Dude, that's not a cake. It sounds ca- amazing. Cacao, it- frozen bananas, cacao nuts, and stuff. Yeah, it's like it's more like a pie. Cacao nuts, <laughs> ca- cacao nips. Um, I it's don't like, even know what those like cr- are. Chocolate, what are they? Chocolate in its purest form is what people call it. Um, and it's like really dark chocolate. Um, I threw Wait, that in there. Wait, are you just saying cocoa differently? Yeah, yeah. I don't know why they say cacao nips, but it's cocoa. Weird. Cocoa. Are you sure that isn't some weird thing where like you just t- your whole life said it weird? No, no. It's, I heard it from people. I usually call it cocoa. Like cocoa. Okay. Pop. All right. All right. Yeah. Fair I said cacao nips <laughs> because... That's what people call it on the internet. And I'm like, why is everyone saying cacao nips? Isn't it just cocoa? <laughs> okay, fair enough. I thought I'd like, I, I, that's one why of those I, weird th- yeah. No one says cocoa nips. No one. Like, no one. So I'm like, I am not saying cocoa nips. Cocoa <laughs> nips brings something else to my mind. Go. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Wow. Um, so I don't know if I can move on from that. Um, and I put a little bit of coconut cream. Um, okay. And um, I put it on the top and put it in the freezer. So, uh, like, it's all raw. Right. It's, like, all raw. Yeah, I tend to try some, like, raw stuff because I wanted something sweet. I haven't had anything sweet in a while. And um, All right, but that, that was just now. That was that was Yeah, that was just now. But for, for, for dinner, I would have, like, um, uh, one time I, I, I had a, a bunch of celery sticks and carrot sticks, right? But right, I made okay. caramel dip. Out of just you made the, caramel dip. Yeah, it's what they call caramel dip. Out of just um, dates and vanilla, vanilla. Wow. Bean. Yeah, and you just blend it. If you have a food processor, you just blend it real hard, and it becomes a consistency of caramel. You just dip it in there. But also, I had I made some. Um, another time, I made some uh, avocado dip or guacamole. Yeah. yeah. Um, and had it with that. But yeah, yeah, I, I already. It, oh, it's I had pretty a question easy, for you. and it, it fills it fills me up too as well. And that, but when people are not used to just eating small meals, I'm already used to it already. Um, mm-hmm. When I'm hungry, I would I'll cook up some brown rice and some beans, so I'll get mm-hmm. my grains in and I'll get my protein in. 
Mm-hmm. Um, it, it's weird because people are like, oh, vegetarians and vegans, they're not getting their protein. They're not getting their B12 and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, do you, I, I don't, wh- why are you guys saying all that? You guys eat junk food all day. Like, What are you talking about? Like, You guys are not getting anything. Yeah. You know, it's, just, it's weird when people say Oh, that's an like interesting that. point, actually. Yeah, that yeah. is an interesting point. People are so quick to say that about that. And I was like, what do you... What do you and a lot of people won't have perfect diets anyway, yeah. Yeah, and yeah, every, whole- everything is different. Everyone is different. Everyone has different diets that works for them. There's so much stuff. There's something I've said constantly. I should have said it before mm-hmm. starting this whole conversation. Because every this time I talk like about a, healthy a, stuff, people are like, oh, but that didn't work for me, Matt. That's false. And blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I'm like, dude, everybody. That's why people hire... Uh, personal trainers. That's why people hire nutritionists. Blah blah, because they need w- something that works for them personally. Some, Dude, some speaking people- of nutritionists yeah. and stuff, friggin' Chris Pratt in the trailer for the, the new Jurassic Park trailer. Yeah, that guy looks. He's like a supermodel now. He looks completely right? different to how he did like a couple of years ago. Right on it's on uh, ridiculous Parks and Rec, right? Yeah, like, man. Like, I'm he's... I'm literally watching Parks at the moment, and he's got like he's not an ugly guy. He's like no. a guy, all right. And then I and then I see the new Jurassic Park trailer, and I'm like, who is this man? This is like supermodel, like friggin'. He got his big unbelievable. Break. He got his big break, and he's like, man, I be- I could become sexy. Yeah, you know, it's mental. It's yeah, and then mental. he just he just went for it. Guardians of the Galaxy, and then now there is now, hope for all of us. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy how like little stars get their big break, and then they just get so many roles. And it's really cool to see it on the good stars. You know, the people who actually. I'll tell you what, it. as well, a great movie I watched this week, uh, Saving Private Ryan. I can't believe we're already on this. Watch Saving Private Ryan. I had no idea. Like, everyone in that movie, everyone in that movie is a big star. Even freaking Brian Cranston's in it at the start. And I'm like, what the <laughs> hell? Like, everyone in that movie is a star. Yeah. And, and like, oh, my God. It had been a long time since I saw it. So when you finally get to meet Private Ryan and it turns out it's Matt Damon, I was just, I was ready to pass out. Again? Like, Matt Damon appears again? <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> he appeared in Interstellar. Just popped him up. I didn't even know he was in the movie. Yeah, I, like me to not, I like to not watch anything and just... just just pop it on. And I avoided everything from Interstellar for so long. Even yeah. like Cox and Crendor. I listened to Cox and Crendor religiously. Shame it was such a terrible movie then, right? Oh. Ruined by all that stuff. Oh, <laughs> oh, you're so oh funny. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's a good ho- that if you ever like really, really if you're ever like in a serious heated like debate with someone <laughs> and you do that noise to them, honestly, you'll... Wow, that was really, really good. So oh, so so that means the next time we uh <laughs> <laughs> wow, yeah, in, do an impersonation of me doing that voice and uh, yeah, be uh, be at the end of the world. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> you you would you? I think there will be a pause for at least ten seconds and then you will start laughing. <laughs> You're like, oh damn it! No, I'm not gonna give it to him. <laughs> no, uh, must resist. Yeah. Um. So good. the stream, something we totally got distracted with. <laughs> Oh yeah, the stream. So, what do you think of the new change? Because I didn't do a video because I, I just didn't feel, I was like it's news and you're doing news. Um, a couple of the other guys who are probably much better than I am at doing news. They're doing good. They're going to every detail. There's MMO Inks. There's Bogotter. There's Or Peachy. There's all these other guys. There's a lot of those small guys that are coming up now. Uh, mm-hmm. T yeah. Teapot teapot mighty teapot he's been around for a while though, yeah yeah, yeah. he's been around um, i don't but, know whether he's necessarily doing news he was doing like quite in depth like commentaries yeah, we, we watch a lot of you guys by the way we watch a yeah. lot of you guys um, well the, the other thing about news is i mean and we can talk about this but like um uh like m- me and matt have talked a bit about longevity of videos as well like there's a really big oof. difference in the type of videos you, you do you know i'll do a news video i'll do quite well but then it will probably never get touched again, really, or and get mass amounts of eyeballs. But then, like, what was the what exactly did you, the Yandere uh, Yandere? I hate that word now, dude. Yandere. I don't know how to say it. Yandere. Is it definitely Yandere? Yandere. 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 Yeah. It's definitely that, right? Yandere. Even though it's spelled E R E. Yeah, Yandere. Okay. Well, like Matt's video on that, you know, it just keeps growing and growing and growing. So, like, there's definitely something to be said there as well. With like, yeah, it, it, yeah, we're man. We talked about the this fu- a lot. Where it, it gets people mad. It's it's it, 
we, no, it we, doesn't. It's like that. It's like that comment I linked you. With some, by the way, there's like three people doing the Visual Wood Marathon Challenge now. Oh uh, gosh. One of, I got a, I got a message about it. Um, I linked Matt this a while ago, and uh, it was someone who said, "Oh, you know, I've really been enjoying the podcast. The bits I don't like, even though this was been, you know, had a lot of Guild Wars two focus on this podcast for a long time." Um, they, they say you know the, the most boring bits, honestly, to listen to it all in chunks is the news sections. Because who gives a damn about news from like last year? You know. Exactly. Like, and it's it's so obvious with stuff like that. However, let's talk about this. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> well, we can be sure. We can be sure. <laughs> yeah, let's not go into detail with that conversation anyway. Um, Do you want to say what you think of the new system? Um. It, well, all right. So we got this one like a week before. Yeah, and oh, yeah, this is yeah. when we're Wait, like we all like, oh my gosh, what is this? Because we, yeah. you know, we, we've been getting like little snippets of news that are cool and all, but it, it's not to this caliber by any stretch yeah. of the imagination. Um, and you linked it to me. What was I doing? Matt, get, Matt said, dude, check your email. I was like, oh, what? But I couldn't read it, and you were like reading it on, and I couldn't read it for a while, and I was like freaking. Out. I was like, "Oh, I must read, must read." Yeah, I was also like, "Dude, dude, page two, dude, page two. When they talk about the stats being uh, removed from the traits, yeah, yeah, and I the, was uh, like, what is this? This is so great. It, it's so I, I knew. Like, I go back to like a couple podcasts ago when I say. It's not a small little update. If they're gonna change, if they're gonna add specializations, they're gonna change everybody. Yeah. We're going to change yeah. everything. We're going to change the core of a, a lot of things. And there you go. There you go, guys. It's not going to be some like, oh, you know what? The Guardian, he's going to have the Berserker. The Ranger's going to have the Druid. You know, and that's it. Yeah. You know, that's all. A couple of new traits. Uh, you know, a little healing skill, a little, um, a little utility, a little elite. And you're, you're good to go. <laughs> yeah, yeah and that's nice. what a lot of people expect from a, a reading that, you know? And, and I mean, it's justified to a point, but that, come on, expansion? They're giving us the yeah, good stuff, the th- and and, and yeah. they're changing so much. And you paid attention a lot more than I did because I was doing a lot of stuff. I'm up here putting new foam in the in the room right now. Oh, yeah, yeah, wait. Yeah. Oh, damn it. So I was Remember listening to, talk about to that it. in a second. And yeah. yeah, I was listening to it and, like, kept moving back to see, like, the traits that they were talking about and blah, blah. And it, it, was, a, it was a good listen. Um to to listen to Grouch and 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 Peter and all, all the the devs that were kept John coming Peters, on, yeah. yeah, it was really yeah. good. So what, what I will are say as well, well, yeah. uh, what I did want to say as well is, yeah, me, uh, Matt, and I, we got this email. You guys think the the uh, system sounds complicated? It gets a lot more easy to understand when you have a screenshot and you can see it in action. We didn't yeah. even have the screenshot, so like, if you thought it was complicated when it was oh. delivered to you, we had. Like very little to go on. Like just the way I like I inspected that damn thing over and over and over. Yeah. I don't know. I think it's good. I I had a long conversation with someone uh, with World of Enders, and he was like quite disappointed by the sounds of the system because it seemed like it was removing a lot of options. And I can see that. You know, we do only get three choices at each juncture. And I actually, honestly, Matt, I thought there was going to be way more QQ about the system than there was. I th- I think I even said yeah, that to you. Yeah, yeah, you told me. You told me. Why why do you say that? Um be, it's not because of the traits being removed, right? I mean the stats well, being removed. Well, because the traits. The, uh, before the before the expansion came out, I do think ev- you know, we look at the biggest controversy in the community, the 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 period of the most uh unrest, okay? Um it it was last summer and it was one of the primary things that really offended people was feature pack 2 and the fact that it focused on new players and in particular the thing that was destroyed that was focused and hacked down by the community that arena net were trying to do is they were trying to cater to new players and they could they got to the point where they could not mention the remotest of things that would simplify a concept or make a system more clear because people would say oh they're doing it to dumb down for new players they do they're, mm. they're making the game more simple they have no respect for the intelligence of their player base, blah, 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 blah. And a lot of that still smarts. And so you look at this system, and honestly, what have they done? Like, really? They, they've, they on the one hand, a lot of the balance and the things that they've done, I do think are going to improve the game in hundreds of ways. Like, so, so, so much. And I'm really in favour of the change. But also, you can look at it, and you can say, oh, look, they're making it easier. They're trying to make it easy for new players again. And I honestly thought that the lowest common de- denominator and most uh, a very prevalent opinion of this entire update was going to be that. And do you know why I think we got that email a little bit early? And they were saying, oh, we're looking for feedback and stuff. And they yeah. really do look like they're looking for feedback. I honestly think it's because they thought there could be some controversy here based on, on that, that, you know, it's simplifying a system. 
But all that said, I think it's awesome, man. I, I really, really do. I, uh, I Even just watching this stream. Like, it should say something, okay? That they had a four-hour stream today. Four hours to discuss this change. 6,000 to 7,000 viewers the whole time. Well, the views... Uh, I wish the views were higher, to be honest. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're really small. Yeah. But, you know, the, the, the fact that they could talk for so long about this... Um, really does show how much My work has just gone in. in here. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, oh, did she really? <laughs> she, she dropped her piece <laughs> of spray. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I, I think it's going to be really cool. My class in particular, I made some predictions about what they were going to do. I got some of them right, got some of them wrong. Um, I, I, I feel like sometimes they they could do a bit better with what they do and that i feel like well with the I know better the i'm tricks? so arrogant these days dude i'm so arrogant i'm like this dev clearly doesn't know how elementalist is supposed to be they should have done this trait change and then i catch myself thinking and i'm like what are you talking about shush stop you're not a designer and then i put myself in the corner <laughs> so all right one of my other than of course removing stats from the traits um i feel mm -hmm. like them putting a bunch of traits together was a good thing like a really oh yeah the combining thing. like it's just yeah they're having them so separate and then you had to waste traits to, to go from one line to the other and blah blah and they they kind of balanced it well not balanced it but like they kind of uh you know put made more synergy well, with some of the traits so you didn't have to go all over the place for it yeah see oh uh there's two, there's two sides to this as far as I can see, right? If you look at, like, one of the old warrior lines, uh, you could take a shout-related trait in every slot. And so you could be, right, I want to be a shout warrior. And that would kind of immediately, you would know in that line, you want to take these individual trait shouts. And that could feel fun in some ways because when you're making a build, you want to feel like you're selecting loads of individual pieces that all come together to synergize together to make some big idea, right? So it's kind of cool to be like, oh, I'll pick all these separate shout things. And then on, from that perspective, when they say, oh, we're merging it all together, people can say, oh, this is now unfun because it's not like building really strong synergies all over your build. It's just, oh, we pick one trait and we're done. Mm. But the, the fact is um, there were so many builds out there that like shouts happened to have worked in one of the formats of the game. So that's fine. But there's a lot of other ideas and, and build concepts that um, just fell short because taking it across, like f dedicating four slots to this yep. one type of skill or something meant you didn't get like incredibly important vital utility damage boosters but in terms of pve or but quality of life in can. pvp yeah and now you can you can and, so like that's really cool and and, and the, the point of like you're not you're not like for instance the guardian you're not going to have enough power unless you 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 know you put some into to to, to power you know like and get the great sword trade and blah blah like it doesn't matter anymore you can just put it into anything you can you could go straight up tanky and yeah. still have all your damage gear. Like, that's insane. And I, I feel like there's going to be really interesting builds to come out of this. Um, mm -hmm. It's going to change a lot of things. And, and them smushing the traits together. I I really wanted to sit there and dis dissect every single trait from, uh, from all my favorite classes and just be like, wow, okay, so that's going to change the build that I did there. And, you know, And they even went as far... It's not even the traits. They started changing some of the, the other skills. Um, I'm pretty sure they're changing other stuff. But the engineer with the grenades, the, the bag of yeah. grapes. Oh, my God. Yeah, the NG's getting so many changes. What is that? Yeah. Like, what? Like what is this? Like, what they're is getting I really like that there's grenades skill. in their hand. I really like that. Yeah. That's okay, yeah. They're that. getting... The animations are way better. They're getting... Um, basically, uh, okay, Mortar was terrible. They're basically getting an entirely new elite skill. They're getting for their profession mechanic, like, loads of new skills based off of the elite that they have equipped. They're getting, uh, friggin' changes to their med kit where they can create their little pile and they're just getting so much. Like, what is that? They're getting so much. I, and it, you, this is all dropping before Heart of Thorns as well. Like, oh, I'm so excited. Th yeah, I was just about to mention that. I was like, I was like, man, it sounds like the core specialization is going to be separate. And you're like, man, I think they're going to come out with core specializations before Heart of Thorns. And I'm like, what? You serious? Yeah, yeah. And, and they I said on like, the stream they confirmed it. Today. I was like, oh, snap. I was like, th this is actually really good. Because I, I was like, man, I, it, it has to be separate. Like, core has to be for the free people. You know, but yeah, like yeah, them yeah, coming yeah. like this can hold this can hold me off. Them having specializations, changing up all that, this can hold me off uh, for another few months if I get this. All those yeah. builds that I can mess around with, 
And then specializations, by the time that comes in, it just kind of, you know, slides in like a, a good Lego piece, you know? <laughs> it's just... See, <laughs> I've got a I've got a silly necro build. I've been playing for like a month now, if, if not more. And I've not I've not been able to do it. I've wanted to do a video on it for ages, right? But I haven't been able to because I've had to wait for Boots to do his version on it, and we ended up going through tons more classes before that even came out. And now this has all been revealed. I'm like, it's pointless doing build videos anymore. It is. <laughs> it really is. I have to wait for the update now. <laughs> it's I, like why? A lot of people like build videos, but man, they just get out of out of out of date so quickly. So quickly, yeah. like I can't imagine any of my build videos being worth anything anymore. Like especially yeah, they're after all dead, this update, yeah. holy crap! Yeah, yeah, like um, uh, armor changes, everything changes. Man, oof, yeah. man, I it, it's interesting because I was hearing a lot of like these, you know, these guys they they have this whole elitist mentality. Um, um, I don't want to say anything, but. It, Wow. They, they, they were, they, were they, you know, like, oh, you know, they, this is the way it is and it's never going to change, you know, berserker, 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 berserker. And now they're actually changing it and they're, they're really messing with builds. Like, this, there's no way the same builds will be the same anymore. There's no way. Because they're well, changing concepts everything. Concepts will be there. Yeah. Like, con- there are some things. Like, so for Ellie, like, I. I, it just looks like Star Ellie. It almost seemed for a second like Dagger Ellie's might be kind of cool, and there might be some very. But no, it's just like Staff. I think is like I cannot believe they rolled out a down straight lava font trait into <laughs> one of the Grandmasters that already existed. It's, it's nuts. It's actually nuts. And we don't even have to trait for blasting Staff anymore. It's just so. Oh God, dude! Oh, and they revealed <laughs> Tempest as the Re- name. Relax, re- not on the podcast, dude. Not on the podcast. Not on the podcast. Okay, <laughs> all right, all right. Well, so the change went through. That was very <laughs> interesting. And I guess we'll wait to see it actually be reflected in the update notes. Moving on. Uh, what else What, what else is going on? Because we did no prep today. So let me have a look. What we... <laughs> <laughs> is it, we have no prep today. And I see you go to the dock. I see a little name <laughs> come pop that? up. And there's like nothing there. There's uh, a scene of have vegan blank. written. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to ask you a question. What have you been playing slash doing this week? Oh, uh, okay. So I've been playing slash doing. Um, I've been wanting to get into The Witcher 2. So I've been trying to prepare a, a few oh videos God. so I can have wait, some wait. videos coming out while I review The Witcher 2. Because I want to review The Witcher Is this because of The, Witcher the New 2. Witcher? Yeah, The New Witcher is coming out next month. And I have like less than a month to uh, to, you know, to prepare for it. Um, and The Witcher 2 is, is pretty decently long, you know? Mm-hmm. So yeah. I, I've been wanting to do a, uh, you know, a game review for so long, and I've just been getting, like, I've been too much Guild Wars 2 has been going on, this has been going on, um, and I'm trying to do multiple things at the same time while trying to start up streaming again. So yeah. I, I'm i going to force myself, and I'm going to do these things. I'm going to do The Witcher 2. I'm gonna review it ever, because I might get a review copy for The Witcher Three, which would be great. With Witcher Two, have you ever played it? No, I, no, I played it, but I never finished it. Yeah, so. I played it, but never finished it. And I, do you know what? That's the weirdest game for me because you know what I'm like. If I get into something, I get crazy into it. That's all I end up doing, right? Yeah. Witcher Two, man, I loved. I thought it was such a cool game. Like, really loved it. And then one day, I just didn't play it. I just didn't play. And then I forgot right. the story, and I've never played it since. I'm like, what? What? What happened to me back there? <laughs> and uh, I'm wondering now, like, whether that was your experience or whether yeah, it was. I, don't know, what, I just, I just, I played it. I started up two times and just, just stopped. I don't know. It's, such it's a not a cool game. Yeah, it's not a. It's not the game. I, I mean, I guess it is the game in a sense, but it's not that it's a bad game at all. You know, it, it was an interesting game. It's just. I don't know. Maybe the combat wasn't as you know, like it was just too much in the very beginning. I just didn't feel like learning. They do it. load a lot on you yeah, at the start. They You're do. right about that. And number one Terrible was uh, number one was <laughs> bad when it came oh, out yeah, of combat. It was like so Witcher, much to it, and they streamlined a lot of it in part two. Um, and I can't remember a lot of it, but I remember the potions and you, 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 there's so much stuff you can uh, uh, potions you can make. Um, that would help to defeat certain monsters. That would give you certain abilities, like seeing in the dark, seeing tracks and stuff like that. Hopefully, mm-hmm. I'm not talking out my butt, but I remember all that. And I'm like, man, this this is really complicated. It's not complicated, but it's like, 
you get to that point where you're like, man, do I want to learn all this? It's the same way when I played Pillars. I'm like, man, do I really want to learn all this? Pillars of Eternity. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and it was Pillars was good. It's just I didn't like the combat too much. You know, I I could definitely get into Witcher too though. That's something yeah. I I will force myself to get into, and it. There, there's a certain point where things become very familiar to you when you're playing a game. You're like, oh, okay, this is easy. And then you start enjoying the game instead of like trying to learn everything and fumbling all and over yourself. And you see yourself. what's really good about the systems that you've just learned. Exactly. Yeah. And I love that yeah. feeling. I love that feeling. It, I love that, uh, especially when I did that for Guild Wars 2. It, it was this moment where I was like, man, I'm a nub. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, like, like, what was it like? Um, it was during the first year of Guild Wars 2. Right. And I started playing some PvP. And I'm like, man, I, I just really need to get better at this. And and uh, because I was playing PvE this whole time, you know, and I yeah. just like it's easy. It's so easy, especially on the Guardian. <laughs> like you can do whatever you want. And I didn't care about damage. I didn't care about anything. And then, you know, after I I hit that threshold, then I just went Zerker because it was easy. <laughs> it was easy. <laughs> it was yeah, a lot easy, yeah. and it's fun. It's more fun in in when you're roaming in in Zerker because. You know, you unless you're fighting three, I think three people is a little unhealthy. Uh, if you don't dodge certain attacks, then you will die very quickly as a guardian on uh, Zerker. But you know, mm-hmm. two people is really fun. Fighting against two people on Zerker and bursting both of them down—that's that's amazing. Oh god, if you can land it properly, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, you you you, you pop your shield, wait for them to get close. The scepter five, boom. <laughs> Man, I was I was sort of maybe thinking of doing like a world versus world montage thing on a bursty Ellie. And the one clip I played like for three days, like constantly recording and then only capturing the highlights. The one one clip that I got over that entire period of time was me killing two guys basically in like two skills. They were both level 80. They were both on the same guild. They both jumped me at the same time. I invulned and killed them both. And I was like, oh, this is the best thing ever. And then I got really depressed because I knew that like... That was the only type of that clip I was ever going to be able to get. And then I uh, kind of stopped the idea. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. Oh, but man. Yeah. I remember when I was trying to record PvP stuff. And I'm like, no, why? No, no. <laughs> like, people, people are not going to watch this. It's, yeah. it's, I, I, I mean, it's, it's fun. It's fun. I'm having a good time with a couple friends. But I, I, don't, I don't get everything perfect like these other streamers out there. Like, I've watched, I watch some PvP streamers and some roamers. Uh, of course, I rush Shin when he roams and, and a lot of the PvP streamers when they're doing it. And, and it, they, they're just almost perfect in everything that they do. And I'm like, man, I don't, I don't know. I like my PvE. I can't play only PvP. I, would, I don't know if I would get that good, you know? Yeah, and Especially you lose it very quick class. as well. Yeah, I play, like, yeah. multiple classes because I like to change it up. Especially... I don't know. It's that feeling. It's just not that that thirst is not quenched when I just want. I always want to learn every class and just want to play this. And I want to play that. And I've been doing that too recently. But now with mm-hmm. this one, with the, all these changes, I mean, that probably would it probably won't help that situation. But I think it's gonna be really cool to stick with, especially my guardian. I feel like I'm not gonna drop guardian because the core specializations seem really awesome. And since I already know, yeah, Guardian, I was going to ask you specifically yeah. what you were thinking of guard of the Guardian changes because I found myself really enwrapped whenever it was a class I kind of understood. Yeah. Um, and there's varying levels for me, but the one definitely at the very bottom of my understanding is Guardian. Um, so when I was watching that, I was like kind of switching off a little bit. I was like, okay, all right, okay, okay. What, was there anything that really stuck out? Um, other than like, I mean, other than the great sword having everything that great sword uh, trait having all in one trait oh my gosh i've been i've been wishing for that to happen i remember making a yeah. joke about this year like two years ago i was like man why can't they just switch these things together and it was a joke and now like they actually did it because that it just works with you know with the with the update i'm like man it also the the um, the the symbol being able to damage, you get 50%. You do your own extra damage while they're in the symbol, yeah. and the symbol itself does extra damage, yeah. It's pretty ridiculous. The the 25% crit um, on burning foes, like, all, there's a lot of good traits there. Do you have any idea of the three specializations you're going to pick for Guardian? Oh, uh, no, no. I'm going to mess with all of them. There's a lot of bunker stuff as well. I gotta mess with them all. I have to. Mess Dude, with yeah, them they're all. so bunky. That vitality grandmaster now gets a bunch of other stuff on it as well. No, it doesn't it's so much goodness, and you know, all the classes have some of this, 
some of this nice bulk cl- um, traits that mean something when you pick it now. Like, it's not just, like, this mm-hmm. one little thing and you have to keep switching. Now, with like, it changes everything when you pick one trait, which is I, – I love that concept. Yes, it's only three. It's only, like, nine for each one, but it's – Oh, it's so good. And the weird part is when I was reading the text version without having any examples, I was like, what the hell is this? Like, I need to see it. <laughs> I yeah. really need to see it. Like, if you read the blog, you're like, uh, okay. And then yeah, you like had the screenshot no helps so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're just, you're just lost. But yeah, <laughs> uh, now, now, now I really understand it. And I just, I just want it to be in my life right now. I really do. And I How long do you... Here's, here's something I thought was kind of interesting. Mm-hmm. This is coming before the, the expansion. This is also super crazy work in progress. Right. When do you think this is coming out? And then obviously as an extension of that, the expansion beyond it. I think you might be right. I think the expansion might be a little bit a ways off because... Further if, off, yeah. Because, man, I guess they released info when they had the concept and they started working on it. Not like they had a lot of stuff done and they're releasing it. Because that's Which is a little bit different for them. Yeah, right? very different for them. So they took a risk, and I think it's working because they're taking a lot of feedback from people, which is great because they need mm-hmm. to, because they need to keep the fan base that they have, and then from that they can grow, you know, to mm-hmm. even bigger, which they have the potential to. This is like the only Guild Wars Two is like the only MMO that has survived the wasteland, dude. Except for Terra, <laughs> Terra survived as well. I think people still play Terra. Um, Dude, but like one Arch game that everyone Age, still plays. Wild, Wild Star. Oh my god, dude! When, <laughs> go on Twitch, and there's like ten people. What, right now, ten people watching. Ten, ten people watching, watching Wild Star. Star. Really? I have to look at this right now. And Wild it, Star. I mean, you, Twitch is not an, ex, you know, the best example. You could pick any game, you know, on Steam, and you know, not many people will be watching it. But like, man, something that was so hot you know so much hype to you know arch age i'm pretty sure people are still playing that but you know that has kind of like died off in the community the hardcore community that goes from mmo to mmo you know yeah, they, they've all gone back around. to wow or you know they're some of them have stayed at guild wars 2 you know um wild star currently has five six seven uh 13 uh 19 28 people in the whole world prime time watching it 28 people in, in all across every channel across every channel there's one guy with one viewer one guy with two two more guys with two viewers six viewers six viewers and nine viewers that's everyone in the whole world watching wild star right now. that's crazy it, i knew it had sort of fallen but man yeah like man i mean you, you can't really compare like guild wars 2 you know you get like uh, you get like a thousand, two thousand, you know. And then if you have a big guy like uh, Dot Got Game or any of those bigger guys, uh, are those huge steam- streamers still around? By the way, I Is, haven't uh, been checking, but I haven't yeah. seen any hype. Yeah, you know, usually somebody would tweet me or something like that, like, "Oh look, Guild Wars Two is getting up there," blah blah blah, you know. Yeah, and, and it's I I look at Dot Got Game and I'm like, okay, because I met the guy already. He's he's mad cool peeps. Um, he. I, I was like, I look at him and, and like how he's getting like around 800. And I'm like, okay. Like, you can consistently stream Guild Wars 2 and, you know, people will watch, you know. Uh, it, it just makes me wonder. I'm like, man, like, uh, is it sustainable? Like, are there, I don't, there's, there's any, there's not any like streamers that are hardcore streaming and that's their job, you know, for Guild Wars 2. Other than, I guess, Dot Guy Game is in that ballpark, but he does stream other stuff. Um, mm-hmm. Just mostly Guild Wars Two at the moment, yeah. So it's, I don't know. Like I, I, I w- Once that becomes possible, then I think your game has officially got that fan base that, or you have. Let me sh- scoop it around. You, you have made the game that is really cool to watch. So you have done right, something yeah. to the game that is really uh, satisfying to see them play. So that someone play, you know. And, you know, it could be just the people, too, as well. Like, a lot of people watching Soda Poppin' and all those guys play, all those big guys. Uh, there was a Night Blue 3 was playing there as well. He's usually a leak streamer. You know? Oh, really? Yeah. I he, didn't even he hear He said it was, a, it was complicated, and he just dropped it. 
Wait, really? What about Guild Wars Two when yeah. he dropped it? Yeah, he was saying he's like, ah, oh, it's just too much stuff to learn. Um, oh, what? Don't even know. You don't say that because that's exactly like ammo for Arena Net to be like, aha. Yeah, there are no more runes or sigils fine, because fine. they are Only too complicated. Josh Foreman listens to the pod. It's fine. <laughs> it's totally fine. Um, <laughs> and you know, you know, he he he'll, he'll keep quiet, right, Josh? He'll keep quiet. It's okay. It's cool. It's cool. <laughs> As long as you ask him to, I'm sure it'll be fine, right? <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I, yeah, I just, I, I've been thinking about streaming again. And it's just like I, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. Well, you have you done some prep for it? Like, uh, what, what would the idea? Oh, we shouldn't really talk about it. Your, talk about, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, okay. Anyways. So, um, yeah. Okay, sorry, go on. Uh, so what about what about movie club? Imitation, imitation game. Why am I saying imitation? Imitation. The game? imitation game. Yeah, it was there was the movie. Why do we have Blade Runner written here? Was it the imitation game? Or yeah, in- it was the imitation game. Or intimidation game. No, the imitation game. Oh, did you watch it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Then yeah, it's the imitation game. Yeah, you know why it's called the Im- I- I- uh, imitation game? Um, no, actually, no, I don't. I I know he well, mentioned it. He mentioned th- the game. But yeah, uh, so so for everyone, very brief synopsis. Yep. This is about Alan Turing, inventor of the very first. I I feel like this is the kind of thing I'm gonna Benedict say. Cumberbatch. Mm. Yeah, p- portrayed by Benedict Cumberbatch, exactly. Playing basically the role that he's been uh, typecast into ever since Sherlock. Okay, <laughs> which is I'm a very smart guy, and I you don't understand me because my brain is so complicated. No, All right, he's that's different. who he's playing as. He's different though. He's not the same. Oh, yeah, okay, sure. I think, uh, was Alan Turing, like, did he have Asperger's or was he, like, mildly autistic or something? Because it very much seemed like that's what they were going for. But he was just socially awkward. Like, yeah, no, but they did a lot of other stuff. Like, uh, some of his descriptions about the way uh, people have conversations and that people will say one thing and they are really inferring something else. You know, they had a few scenes about that. That's very much like a trait of people on the autistic spectrum, mm. like very much. And the the colours as well, where there's a scene where um, he's trying to keep his green peas away from his orange carrots. Right. Again, that is very... In any case, they don't, I don't think they wrote say anything about that. But... um. He's, he's playing this kind of a guy. Uh, and again, I, I, I think he's the inventor of the very first computer. Right. All right. The digital computer. I, I don't know, though. I, I'm sure in reality, there were many people who understood the concept and blubber prototyped it before. They just, uh, in, failed in different circumstances, as always. You see this through academia, but whatever. Uh, and the, uh, he, he created this thing to um, crack the Enigma machine. This is all true story stuff. This is actually how history went. He did it to crack the Enigma machine, which was a uh, coding device that the Germans were using to transmit messages around one uh, around you know plans during World War II. And by breaking this device and creating a PC, ultimately um, spies on the British side of things uh, were able to figure out plans ahead of time and stage stuff like the Normandy landings, which ultimately won them the war. So uh, that's kind of the story. And it's the story of his life and the relationships he had. There was a segue. What were you talking about when I first started doing this? Damn it. Oh, the imitation game. Right. So he, <laughs> being able to create this, <laughs> right. is a mathematician. He, he was a professor and uh, he wrote a book um, in which he was talking about the idea of computers being able to think right and he had created and i'm guessing this is a real thing he'd created the idea of a game the imitation game okay is he a robot or is he a human right 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 yeah it's like a a way of being asking an entity something and through this game you will know whether the entity with which you are conversing is a human or a robot or you know a computer Uh, so so yeah, obviously we're set back in the 40s and it's all very uh, old timey and I'm sure uh, Americans watching it would get a kick out of the accents and the right. little villages right. and the architecture and stuff. And I get a kick out of it too because I am British and it's nice to see. Dude, I'll tell you what, the only ever good World War II movies that are British movies or, you know, looking at the British side of things, I never actually like action movies about the front lines. I'm going to be wrong about this. Someone's going to be like, ah, this movie, blah, blah. They're never stuff like Saving Private Ryan. They're, they're movies like Goodnight Mr. Tom, where we're just hanging around in the countryside and there's might be a little bit about the London bombings, but otherwise it's like <laughs> being proper and stiff up a lip and stuff. It's like, oh, damn it. 
What is your the connection here? The London bombings, okay. The London bombings. You know about the London bombings? Bombings? Uh, uh, d- is that a movie? You d- no, no, no. You're talking about event. the history. You're talking about history. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. When uh, yeah, yeah. the... Wait, wait, what is it? The Wehrmacht were the army. The, oh, what was the name of the German Air Force under Nazi rule? Oh, I can't remember. I suck. Anyway, we were being bombed a lot because obviously Hitler wanted to wanted us out when we stood against him and stuff. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> Whoa. I think that's the first what? time Hitler was mentioned. No, no, actually no, Hitler was mentioned before. He was in he was a little bit in the movie, yeah. Uh, but Churchill. Oh my god. Anyway, yeah, what do you think of the movie? Oh, Sorry, no, I, I meant on the podcast. But uh Oh, really? Yeah, he was he Antler was once called up. Anyways, um, yeah. <laughs> so, what did you think? We've come a long way. Oh, uh, yeah, we we have, we have <laughs> come a long way. Now we do other things bad. Um, wow. Um, uh, <laughs> I think the performances were good. I th- I feel like it started real slow. It started real slow. Okay. Um, but it did pick up. It did pick up, and the performances were on point. I gotta say. Uh, I. I don't know. I I liked the movie. I don't know if I was invested as I wanted to be. I, I I felt like I felt like I was watching a better version of Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy. It had that no, vibe. it had no, a, it was very vibe. like it. It had the the yeah, same color filter. Movie. It had the same vibe going on, but not of course yeah. not the same plot and how convoluted it was. No, no, no. Of course not. Course Tinker not. Taylor was way more like realistic and tons of info thrown at you and much harder to swallow. You're right. Like, you're like damn. <gasps> you can't breathe. You're, you're going to die watching the movie. I'm pretty sure there was a massacre somewhere in some movie theater. Wow. Trying to Jesus. swallow the information. Don't say that after the Batman stuff happened recently. God. What Batman stuff? What? Insensitive. When the ginger guy went and killed a load of people in the cinema. What? Like the Hold Batman. A, what? I don't. This was a while ago. This was the I've last never heard of this. Movie, right? I've never. Did really? he? Was he wearing face? Oh, I shouldn't joke about that. No. I don't know. I don't know. He might have been doing a Joker thing. Like it was really tragic, dude. It was like it was like one of those devastating things. It was like in line with the Boston bombings and stuff. Wow. It was tasteless. Tasteless. But it's okay. You weren't aware that it happened. It's all right. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyways, <laughs> that took a turn for the worst. Yeah. Um, um it this yeah, they're both kind of spy British movies, right? So it is going to be a little bit similar to Tinker Tailor. I thought it was good, but did you feel a bit patronized by it sometimes? What do you mean? Like so like so 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 like they set they set up elements of the plot, okay? Mm. Like the fact that he's gay and and this was illegal at the time and so right. he could have been uh, some people would have taken that excuse to throw him in jail or whatever and get, get him fired um so and he has a friend who knows this fact okay spoilers are coming up here and um and so then there's a scene where he finds out the friend who has this dirt on him that he's homosexual um is actually a spy himself and so he's like you can't tell anyone I'm a spy because i'll tell everyone that you're gay haha yeah. right like that scene just felt so useless to me because the second we found out he was a spy, we we already knew that we already knew that like he had ammo on him. We already knew that like we didn't need the stupid conversation where they sit the audience down and say, "Okay, look, we're gonna have these characters explain this, this, and this, so that we're all on the same page." Yeah, you know, mm. giving a, like slapping us in the face with it. There's an, uh, there's like a whole character in this movie whose entire role is to stand there and go. I don't understand. What do you mean by this? And then so just so that they can lay out really cleanly exactly what's going on. And like, I don't know. That, those scenes, every time I watched them, I felt bored by the scene because I was like, I actually got nothing out of these two characters talking to each yeah. other. Honestly, that's like three minutes of my life of this movie that could have been something interesting going on, but they're just rehashing what we already know. Thanks for that. You know, and that kept happening I, I blank, over and over Yeah, and over. I just blanked those out. Um, I just blanked those out. I, I just really enjoyed benedict really his character with the with the girl and of course uh the spy was a really good actor so it, it was just those moments where some of the writing was just kind of on point with those characters but then like everyone else was kind of just like filling the space you know like yeah. there was like you know missing pieces of the pie and they were just kind of smushed into there those missing pieces um there were other parts as well where it was like i don't know it felt like it was supposed to be based on a true story, but they weren't actually 
It wasn't like they were really elaborating. Right, right, right. Like, if it, it, when I didn't it, felt like it was like, oh, a true story movie. When, well, How did they get all these it, details of his life that he was gay? It's based blah, on a blah. biography of Alan Turing written by uh, someone else or whatever. But, like, so for example, okay, they get spoilers, they crack the Enigma code, right? They crack the Enigma machine. I'm, uh, I'm guessing that in real life, when they crack this code, they immediately told their superiors, hey, we did it, awesome. Then their superiors go away and decide what to do what to do with the information. And their superiors and the military commanders will say, all right, we obviously don't want the Germans to know that we have cracked their code, so what we'll do is we'll be careful about when we act on this information. And that's for the military minds to deal with. That's, the, that's their job, and I'm guessing in real life, that's what happened. But in the movie, so that the characters can all stay relevant and stuff, they crack the code and then they're like, oh, shh. Let's not tell every. You know, these are just mathematicians out in some random village. Shh, let's not tell everyone that we've cracked the code. Instead, we'll keep it secret and we'll only leak bits of information back to them that we should so that we can save lives. And they have a whole scene where they condemn some guys on some boats to death by U boats. Yeah, the or guys. Something. And it was like the guy. I thought it was. I, I oh, and it, it just so scene. happens the. It just so happens the guy's brother is one of them. And, you the know, the guy who no one knows fight. the name of, he's just kind of there. Yeah, it's like, it wasn't Alan Turing's decision to commit these people to death. Like, what? Uh, don't give me this scene. This is useless. I didn't check. I didn't look it up. Maybe. I, maybe. I, I kinda, this all I, really I, did I kinda happen. I kind of like that. I kind of like that scene. Even really? though the, the guy, yeah, I kind of like that they, it was like a very dark scene. Um, But like, it didn't, I don't know if like, if, I don't know. I After I seen it, I was just like, okay, now I liked it. You know, I liked it, but I didn't talk about it. I didn't say anything about it. Like I, it's it was no conversation. It was. Just I liked like, the drama of it. It just seemed a bit hard to swallow. I guess. Yeah, it, I don't know. It, it's not a bad movie, and it's you know it it definitely. I don't think it's definitely not like anything like great and crazy. No, great. I liked it for what it's worth. By yeah. the way, despite my complaint, I thought it was a pretty cool movie. Yeah, I did quite like it. Uh, yeah. Some of the scenes just. I just I just really enjoyed some of the scenes, you know, especially uh, the way that they talk. Uh, there was a scene where um, after he marries the girl, yeah. after he marries the girl, she's talking to one of her co-workers and, you know, the charming guy. Uh, I can't remember his name. The charming guy that was on the, on uh, Benedict's group yeah. uh, is like. They're, they're saying the same thing, like, oh, he's going to walk over here. Like, how do you know? He's and like, then she, he turns, she wants turns, me to walk over there. Yeah, the yeah. camera goes back to her, her and his, him, and, um, back to him, and he's like, oh, yeah, she wants me to come over. And she and, the, and Benedict was like, how do you know? And he's like, well, you know, she looked, and she hasn't looked back since. And it's like, it was just that, it was just yeah, a charming yeah. scene. And there's a lot of those scenes in there, you know, a few good scenes. that's just like, yeah, I like this. I like this a lot. And There's one quote that I really liked. It reminded me a little bit of like Tolkien and like the Hobbits and stuff. But mm -hmm. when he first meets Kira Knightley or whatever, and he tries to help her out, um, he says to her, "She says, why are you helping me?" And he says, uh, oh, "What does he say?" He says, um, "Sometimes I find it's the people we imagine the least of." Who do the most unimaginable yeah. things? I was like, yeah, that's yeah. a cool line. That's awesome. Yeah, you know, and I totally saw her then as Frodo Baggins for the rest of the movie, but it's fine. And you know, Benedict is getting. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 I I like the fact that like sh she comes in. I I mean, I felt like it was a little bit too convenient. Like some of that stuff was like a little bit too convenient. Um, like oh yeah, she's a woman and she came late, and she's having trouble. Like. I felt like they should yeah. have removed one of those things, like um, not not the woman part, obviously, but the like sh her being late, <laughs> her being late, like yeah. uh, too much, too much. Like make her just have a problem coming in, not her being late. Like it was just too much coincidence things going on there. And um, mm -hmm. I mean, if it happened in real life, then sure, it's it, this guy made him, you know, his life was a movie. Basically, everything was just on point. You know, well, and then the sad bit as well that you commit suicide. Like, I yeah, thought that, there was a that lot was more just. Than I was sad, and I think that kind of put a sour taste in my mouth. I was well, like, here's the thing, right? Like the suicide, okay, would presumably be quite a big part of his life. Now, I get it. Maybe they don't want to defame the guy, and certainly the the work he did, and you know what he accomplished in his life. While showing a scene, 
Do, no, no, not that, no. But what I'm saying is like he's had an interesting life, and it's like okay, we're gonna make a movie about this person's life, and then like we saw this snippet, you know, like and presumably one of the biggest parts was the eventual spiral into depression and suicide, and they kind of they left it on a high. They let they let us know that it happened, but they left the movie. They didn't want to fixate on that part, mm-hmm. and that was kind of interesting to me that you know they did it that way. But yeah, yeah. Um, that that was pretty much it. The uh, the imitation game. Did you? Yeah. Can I, can I, now last week for the movie club, all right, you said that next, next week, which is what we're now selecting, you had an idea for a movie. I said, I think I might know the end. And then I never told you the end. And what I think I know is the end. Right. Are we going to go for the movie or do we want to go for a different movie? Uh, I had, oh, I had a good movie too. And I totally forgot it. I was going to add it to the list of stuff that we should watch. Okay. But what about Truman Show? What? Well, do you know the end though? Do you? I think I know. If you I know, know the concept, what... then there's no point of you watching the thing. I mean, really? Is it not going to be fun to watch, even if I know the concept? I guess it would. I guess. I kind of want to watch it. I want to know the All specifics right. about it. Who right, the characters right, right. are. And Let's stuff. do Truman Show, because I want to see some more Jim Carrey. I haven't seen Jim Carrey in a while. Oh, it's Jim Carrey, is it? See, yeah. I don't know anything about the movie except the concept. <laughs> Jeez. Well, you're going to... It's Jim Carrey, and Jim Carrey is... Uh, he's pretty decent, so... All right. Warning to everyone, then, for next Movie Club, watch this before the next podcast, because it's a movie that is well-defined by the spoilers around it. So we will be talking about those spoilers, and it will ruin the movie for you unless you see it. So... Oh, yes, You should will. watch it. You yeah. should. You should. So okay, I'm also I'm gonna get just really drunk, all right, and then I'll just forget uh, th- that'll knock out the Truman Show information out of my head. You see, and then uh, then I'll get to watch. Did it you watch Daredevil? No, I didn't watch Daredevil. I didn't. Uh, you don't watch anything I tell you to watch, man. I, th- I, I, what do you, I, what do you want? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, <laughs> too I don't many think shows, you love bro. me as much. You know, I do want to watch Daredevil. You don't understand. I get on the podcast and I'm like, yeah, let's do it, let's do all this stuff, and then like the podcast ends and I forget. Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. you have other <laughs> important e- people in your life. Don't even. Mm-hmm. And yet, uh, look, Daredevil is supposed to be an important person in my life, all right? And I promise. Daredevil? Oh, wait, you mean you. <laughs> Daredevil? <laughs> wow, dude. Even a show that you haven't watched is more important. <laughs> all right. So, so, so. Um, qu- oh, question time. Uh, question time. Well, we didn't get any questions. Uh, oh, no, do we have these from Zapristo from last week? Should we just do these? <laughs> yeah, go. Let's do it. Let's do All it. right. Dear Matt and WP, what do you feel you are most proud of? Mm. I'm proud of the work I have done. Um, <sighs> who am I kidding? I'm, I feel like I'm not charitable enough and I haven't done enough. I, I'm proud of nothing in my life. Wow. <laughs> Holy <laughs> crap. And you talk about me with the pressing. Wow. Wow, that was like true. <laughs> oh, man. Someone's about to like go commit suicide. No, 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 no. Look, it'll inspire people because there's someone listening right now. Just, just take a break, all right? Five seconds. Ready? Well, of silence. Yes! Some, some, uh, someone in those five seconds was just thinking, damn, that's me. All right? You, you, you know who you are. Sort it out. Sort it out. You've got the power within you to do something you're proud of. I, I ain't gonna lie. I I, I really want to do more. So I'm kind oh, of, dude! Look, I'm you can be proud of all kinds of things. Every yeah, week yeah. you seem to do something. This week you could be proud of the fact you turned to veganism. <laughs> veganism? I don't know. I don't know if you should add an ism to it. Um, I don't. No, I don't, that's a word. It, no, vegan. Vegan. Veganism yeah. is like you. You eat meat. You what? eat meat. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're not that serious. Some of them are, not, but they're not wow. that serious. But uh, it's even better if you say that same thing, but with milk or cheese or <laughs> eggs or something. You drink milk? <laughs> Did you know two out of every ten people become lactose intolerant as they move into adulthood? <gasps> that could be. <laughs> Do you know that there's a bunch of processed crap and 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 enzymes <laughs> and bacteria and and hormonal um, piss inside of milk? You shouldn't drink wow. that. That sounds like a very academic thing oh. to say. E- e- avoid your, <laughs> your mono piss. Oh, God. <laughs> Milk is just cow pee. Why do you drink 
<laughs> right, they're milking the wrong part of the cow. Oh, what are we doing here? All right, I like how what did you what are you most proud of turned into that. <laughs> the next question is, what do you want your tombstone to say? Oh, wow. <laughs> Why? Why did I say that? Anyway, what is wrong with us? <laughs> <laughs> I I I think I I think I'm I think I'm one thing I'm proud of. I don't know if I'm most proud of it is losing weight. I think that's, losing weight. I thought that's what you'd say. Yeah. yeah, you should be proud of that as well. Yeah, that's a lot of that's a lot of weight. Yeah, yeah that's, a, that's a lot like over 150 pounds. It's a lot of weight. Um, yeah. what would my tombstone say? Um, I lost a lot of weight. I, cu- I could have done better. <laughs> oh my god! Now, he- now he's doing the depressing one. All right, five seconds. Here we go. <laughs> could you have done better? Sort it out. <laughs> Jesus. What would, what would what would you what would you say? Um, I don't know. I'd like to say something ironic, you know, or funny, but. And there's some really funny tombstones people can have. I don't know. I think something just really, really basic. Whatever it's got going to be, I would want it to be something that makes people stop and go, huh. You know? Hmm. So, like, I don't know. Like, was it? Can you imagine if people back in, like, the 17th century were funny enough to have thought of that kind of thing? You could walk through all old... Like, graveyards could be fun, cool, like, ha- really happy places instead of what they currently are. Like, and you inspecting each gravestone, you'd find, like, a different joke or interesting quip or some philosophy someone has. I don't know. I think that'd be awesome. So I'd like to do that. Or maybe I'd keep mine really short and it would just say, like, was here or something. And it would be spelt like graffiti, you know? W-O-Z. <laughs> Apostrophe E-R-E. No, nothing like, I'm retired. I'm retired. Or I'm just <laughs> I'm just sleeping. <laughs> or v- or yeah, visual or like wood buried alive visual wood visual wood wow oh we could get graves next to each other visual wood <laughs> and and we could get little plants sort of you know buried and growing out of our graves you know the the perfect spot for where our wood would be and they're actually you know maybe there can be trees oh and there's actual visual there's actual visual wood Oh wow! This is like a tree, like sticking out, like uh, like uh, yeah, 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 yeah. like like maybe like good, five right? feet away from uh from our. Uh, don't stone. give don't give any of your fortunes that you earn in life to your family. Just use them to set up some business, some organization that will function a non profit for the next four hundred years, where they just pay one guy for the rest of his life to tend to those trees and sculpt them to look you know like a willy or something. It'd be brilliant. Y- y- <laughs> You know what would be cool is uh, someone walking by my tombstone and my tombstone says, how are you? <laughs> Dude, you know what I li- I'd like? Now, this is going to sound kind of exploity and stuff. Right. But imagine you get like a reasonable amount of money. Let's say you're like in the upper middle class, like for someone living in the States or whatever, right? Before you die, just before you die... Uh, you either take all your money and create some awesome treasure hunt style bounty thing that galvanizes the whole world and is really exciting. Or, okay, or you take that money, you go to like a really, really impoverished country where that money will go a really long way. And you pay people to haul all the rocks in like a 500 mile radius to like one place to just create like this giant, giant, giant rock pyramid. And build your own pyramid based on, you know, really cheap labor that otherwise, you know, fuels their economies and stuff. Wow. And then when you die, this is your grave, a giant rock pile that is going to be there for centuries. And people are like, huh, I wonder who did that. And it'll have your, like, your name on it. Wow. <laughs> you you, you want to leave your mark, don't you? <laughs> yeah, you're damn right I do. You're damn right I do. I'm going to find the oldest tectonic that will still be on the surface of the planet, build like a giant pyramid on it or something so that when invaders come from Mars after the human race has been wiped out in their own nuclear apocalypse, that still is there. And they'll be like, oh, cool, a guy made this. Hell yeah. The last known living man-made structure on the entire planet to be seen millions of years in the future, built by me. And you have the pleasure of listening to my voice right now. Thank you guys for watching Visual Wood. <laughs> Please leave us all the things like likes and subscribes and stuff. And uh, we'll <laughs> see you guys next week for another hot Visual Wood. I get the feeling you didn't like my idea, man. What's that? Riders on the storm. 
riders on the storm into this house we're born into this world we're thrown like a dog without a bone and actor out on loan riders on the storm there's a kill